So by equation 17.47, we can write the observed frequency to be emitted frequency f times v plus minus vd over v plus minus vs. Where vd is the velocity of the detector or the observer and vs is the velocity of the source. Now since they are approaching each other, therefore the sound, the frequency of the sound that's received by the detector on the ground should be greater than the emitted frequency. So F dash, which is the observed frequency must be greater than the emitted frequency because uh, these two are approaching each other. So now, based on this, we will choose our signs. So this relation is satisfied when we have a greater value on the numerator. So we choose plus and a smaller value on the denominator. So we choose minus. So now this is the equation that we will be using in order to find velocity of the source. Now one more thing is the observer is on the ground. This means that velocity of the observer or velocity of the detector is zero. And we are also given that f dash minus f is 4 hertz, which makes sense because f dash is greater than f. And this is what uh, says that the, they are approaching each other. So from here, We can also, so one more thing that uh, since this is given, we can, we also have F dash over F to be, so we are given the standard frequency or the emitted frequency to be 440. So let me just write that. So F is 440 hertz and if we use that in this equation we find F dash to be 444 hertz. And V is simply velocity, sorry the speed of sound which is 343 meter per second and Vd is zero. So now we can plug these four values in this equation and solve for Vs. So Vs then comes out to be after solving that comes out to be 3.1 meter per second. So this is the velocity of the source. 